there are trillions of microorganisms that surround you at all times. Although some are beneficial towards your health, others can be detrimental for your well-being. When your immune system can no longer take on these creepy crawly critters, it's usually time to start taking antibiotics. However, this solution can sometimes provide more harm than good. Let's take a look into it why exactly that may be the case. The World Health Organization has come out and stated that antibiotic resistance is a massive threat to global health, food security, and childhood development. However, these group critters are heavily underrepresented in the media. You would think an issue like this would be plastered all over the news. In reality, this issue is merely a second thought to most political leaders around the globe. In fact, under the Trump administration, the United States government has significantly reduced funding to combat antibiotic resistance. With the world's frontier in antibiotic resistance research taking a relaxed view on this issue, it only follows that the worst is yet to come. The global diffusion of responsibility ultimately leads to a lack of collective effort towards mitigating this issue. Considering that in the U.S. alone, antibiotic resistance leads to 2 million healthcare-associated infections and 99,000 deaths per year, this issue really needs to gain more exposure within the media. Not solving this problem can cost the U.S. an astounding $55 billion per year in healthcare and lost productivity costs. Not even a small loan of a million dollars will fix this problem. Antibiotic resistance is a natural phenomenon. However, it is being accelerated through the overuse and misuse of these drugs. Each organism has its own set of DNA. In a bacterial cell, genes can be inherited from relatives or spread via non-relative transfer known as conjugation or horizontal gene transfer. In this form of asexual reproduction, the bacterial cells can swap their DNA. It is an environmental pressure with a very specific evolutionary reason. The bacteria that have a beneficial mutation survive even with antibiotic usage. Mutations arise randomly from mistakes in replication or exogenous sources such as UV rays, extreme pHs, and high temperatures. These bacteria will obviously live longer, increasing their likelihood of reproduction. They will then pass these traits down to their offspring, to whom will be the fully resistant generation. The bacteria that became resistant through conjugation and mutations now have an overwhelming number of resources and nutrients, and therefore begin to flourish. Antibiotics kill bacteria that don't have favorable mutations in the meantime. However, the remaining resistant pathogens are difficult to treat and thus require alternative medications or higher doses, fueling the resistance fire. If a bacterium carries several resistant genes, they are then considered superbugs. Antibiotic resistance has the ability to absolutely wreak havoc on society. Considering this issue can cost the US government $55 billion per year, cause 2 million healthcare associated infections per year, and ultimately lead to 99,000 deaths per year. It is so important that we ultimately work together to overcome antibiotic resistance.